Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about animal hearing, including human hearing today. How do we、uh, use our ears? What are ears, and how do they collect, collect or gather acoustical information, acoustical energy, and convert it eventually into the neural impulses that we call hearing? And、um, when we think about ears, typically we think about these things that stick off the side of our heads. Uh, terrestrial animals have、uh, all kinds of ears. They have pointy ears, and they have floppy ears, and they have tight ears that tuck back. And all those ears are really designed for specific purposes. For example, a lot of predators, like lions and cats,、uh, will have ears on the tops of their heads that face forward because they're looking for their prey. A lot of prey animals will have ears that move around. That cock back and move sideways, so they can hear where the predators are. And if you take, for example, the ear of a horse、uh, or a deer, there's like 28 muscles that control those ears in terms of where they where they can aim. And the cat is an interesting variation of this thing because it is a predator and prey size. It's morsel size, so they can both aim their ears forward, but also cock them back. So that's the outside of the ear. The human ear is a very complicated、uh, appendage. It looks simple enough, but these little folds and whorls in here actually help us、um, locate where sounds come from. We can't move our ears around because、uh, we're not really prey animals per se, but we do need to locate、uh, where potential threats happen, and we do this. Because of the sound that comes into our auditory meatus, or that little hole that goes into our eardrum, but also the sound that bounces off of this external concha. So there's a little distortion on that, a time distortion, a spatial distortion. So you can actually locate sounds with one ear. You don't need stereophonic hearing. So the outer ears of animals, including humans, are purpose designed、uh, to help us. Either locate prey,、uh, identify pr-、uh, predation, or, or where threats come from.、Um, and in terrestrial animals,、uh, I should say ones that walk, our ears are on the outside of our heads. We don't have any reasons for them not to be that way. But birds, for example, couldn't have floppy ears because they would pr- they would basically get caught in the wind. So they don't. Uh, and it's the same thing with fish and animals in the ocean. They don't have appendages uh, called uh, what we call ears or conchas because、uh, they would get、uh, basically hydrostatic or aerodynamic drag.、Uh, and they're very, very sounds either in the air or in the water. So that's a little discussion on the shape that we call ears. But the ear itself is a lot more complex.、Uh, We only collect sounds with these things outside our heads, or the little holes, the orifices that fit in.、Uh, what we do with it, how it transforms from acoustical energy that's gathered out of our environment into the neural impulse, is our next little session.